What's up everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood Florida man here and today I am testing out a new camera and there have been a couple places that have opened up around town that I want to check out. I also have a few errands I have to run so I'm going to take you with me. Let's go. First things first, I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks which is <clears throat> not what I plan on doing. I do have some things that I've been working on uh, in the background that you'll see eventually but that ended up being a bigger project than I imagined, so that's going to take a little bit of time. But another reason I uh, took a while to post a video is because I kind of didn't have a camera for a little bit. I ended up selling my old camera on eBay, and that's a whole process because you have to wait for the bid to go through. Then you got to wait for the money to come in. Then I was able to buy a new camera, and I ended up getting the A7C, which is a Sony camera. And it's kind of a couple steps of what I had before. It's a bigger sensor and a couple more like bells and whistles and has a nicer microphone on it which i'll still use the other microphone it's still a good mic but um i want to try something that i don't have to have attached to my shirt all the time but other than that i need to get a haircut because my hair is getting longer than i'd like these sides are burning so we're gonna go get a haircut at aaron's against the grain which is somewhere i've been going to pretty much pre-covid or right before covid hit and go see my buddy Mitch. So I just got done with my haircut and Mitch did an excellent job as always. So if you are in need of a haircut here in St. Pete, head over to Aaron's Against the Grain and uh, see Mitch, Aaron, Nick, either of those guys do an excellent job. So go check them out. But now I need to get new shoes because my black fans that I wear almost every day are getting tore up. Let's head over to Tyrone Mall and hit up the van store. So I didn't actually end up filming inside the mall today because the van store is actually super busy around the shoes but I did want to show you guys what I ended up getting so this is what I got to replace my black my plain black shoes that I always wear so these are actually pretty nice I usually have to order the plain black and white ones online like special order because they usually don't make them all the time but I got lucky today and found them and I also ended up getting these for 50% uh, off they're having a buy one shoe get any sale on them 50% off so I ended up finding these black, white, and blue with a lightning strike down the middle, which will go perfect with my lightning jersey. So we're going to have one more game in the Maple Leaf series. So let's put these on and hopefully we can put some good luck on the lightning. And I also ended up finding a pretty cool shirt with, uh, see if the wind will stop blowing around. Oranges and a skull, vans, bite into something sweet with the original off the wall company. And I also got this little marquee light for free because I have a bunch of uh, like vans, family points, like their little reward program. So you can kind of put uh, whatever you want on the light right there. So that's what I got here. Now we're going to go uh, check out a new store that opened up on Central. So this is the store I wanted to check out today. It's Cultasaurus. It is kind of like a pop culture and collectible store. And this is their second location. Well, not their second location. They just moved here from 16th Street, kind of like in between 1st Ave North and 4th Ave North. But now they're on the 500 block of Central. So let's go ahead and make our way inside and see what we can find. All right, so when you first walk in, they have this cool little display here with a bunch of uh, figurines and busts of Andy Warhol. Little rabbits as different characters. A little uh, Jesus piece. 
and one dressed as Mickey Mouse, kind of being crucified as well, which is kind of weird. The store also has plenty of little stuffies in it, such as this cheeseburger. This cheeseburger would be uh, 15 bucks, which isn't too bad. And also a Lunchable style stuffy there, as well as some sushis. And you can get a stuffy of a pickle as well. And over here they have a whole wall of blind boxes and other collectibles. Yeah, Spongebob, Transformers, other Nickelodeon characters, Simpsons characters, Adult Swim characters, which was pretty cool. I'm going to look at those. And a little flashback to the 80s, they have these uh, ALF stuffies, which are pretty cool. Has some gold sunglasses and gold necklaces as well. And also Garfield uh, window mounts. And as you walk farther back in the store, they have those uh, collectibles that you can buy and package back here. So if you want to get the crucified Mickey, they also have a uh, Mickey swinging an axe. We have a uh, black metal SpongeBob right there. That's pretty cool. And that is 50. $50.99. They also have dumpster fire figurines here. You can either get a small dumpster fire or a large dumpster fire, however you're feeling. And I think I found my favorite thing that I've found in the store so far, and that is the punk rock action figures. Little known fact about me, I'm a huge fan of punk rock. I'm covered in punk rock tattoos and probably my favorite style of music. They have the Milo from The Descendants, we have a skeleton from Rancid and this little uh, mosh pit guy from the Circle Jerks. They also have rap figures. They have the Rizza from the Wu Tang, the Notorious B.I.G., several uh, Ninja Turtle figurines, and of course your uh, classic heavy metal bands such as Alice Cooper, Lummy from Motorhead, Rob Halford from uh, Judas Priest, and the character from the Slayer cover of Show No Mercy. And they have a bunch of postcards over here. I really like this Welcome to St. Pete one. Sunshine City. I don't have any price on here or anything. They said they don't have any prices up on a lot of things right now because well, they've only been open for five days, but if you ask, they'll give you a price. And they have these cool little uh, Back to the Future ice cream collectibles. And little blind bags. This is what they look like right here but you pick one and you don't know what you're gonna get but I like the DeLorean one right there and one thing that I missed that I didn't see when I was looking at the stuff is this the Xenomorph from Alien stuffy I really like that I don't see a price on that though oh wait here we go $35.99 that's not bad for a little collectible thing I like it so that's all I got here at uh, Cultosaurus. There's one more store that I've been wanting to check out, so we're going to head over there as well. Let's go. All right, so the next place we're going to check out is Rocket Fizz, which this place is a little bittersweet to me, and it's not because of the soda pop and candy, but because this used to be an old punk rock video I used to go to in my 20s. But today, I'm finally going to go inside this place and check it out. So when you first walk inside, there is an overwhelming amount of stuff in here. <clears throat> and weird things such as grass soda, peanut butter soda, black olive soda, buffalo wing soda, and the list keeps going on and on. Dirt soda? I don't think I'm going to be doing any dirt soda. But this store is pretty much just full of a bunch of novelty stuff. They even have the Los Polos Hermanos from uh, Breaking Bad. They have their soda or horchata soda. They have a Bob Ross candy which is kind of, it looks like a fun dip where you can paint your happy little trees with the candy. They have a whole assortment of their own branded sodas as well if you're not into the dirt and grass flavored stuff. And of course they have candies with worms and bugs inside of them or you can just get the worms if that's your thing but I, I don't plan on getting those. You can get your crickets, bacon and cheese flavored. You know they're good. Now this is something I'd probably try. The Little Nitro, world's hottest gummy bear. I am a aficionado of hot stuff. I mean, I don't think I've ever wanted a spicy gummy bear, but 
can't knock it until I try it, I guess. They have a whole bunch of cold drinks as well, so I'll probably grab something before I uh, head out and we'll try it. I'll probably get something good and maybe something on the weird side for entertainment purposes, of course. So we ended up getting a couple of sodas. I got one weird one and a, like three good ones, so I'll try one of those on camera in a few minutes. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Rocket Fizz. I ended up getting four different things. This is the first thing I got. It is the Flying Cauldron Butterscotch beer, which it's not really alcoholic, but it's almost kind of like the butter beer you can get from Universal Studios. And I also got Fireman's Brew, which is a root beer, and a Jones Cane Sugar Soda Foo Foo Berry. I don't know what a foo foo berry tastes like, but I'm gonna find out at some point. And the last, but not least, I got the ranch dressing soda. And we're gonna try this right now. So I brought my little Millennium Falcon uh, bottle opener slash challenge coin. <sighs> Let's do this. Ugh. Oh my God, that smells disgusting. <sighs> Bottoms up. It's exactly what you think it tastes like. It tastes like somebody took like the Hidden Valley uh, dry packet seasoning of ranch and just dumped it into like a seltzer water and put a bunch of sugar in it. Not my thing. One more sip for prosperity. Yep, nope, that one's being dumped. And to wash that out, I'm gonna do the fireman's brew. All right, that tastes much better. Fireman's brew for the win. So that's all I got for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you take care of yourself. Peace.